it is currently 4 17 in the morning right now going to the airport on our way to croatia surprisingly this is the first train that i've actually caught on time out of four or five flights also running on an hour and 45 minutes of sleep i got here at 5 15 it is 5.33 right now. I already got through security. I already got through check-in. Everything's already done. That is the one thing about European airports compared to United States airports that are hands down 10 times better. European airports just fly through. There's never lines for anything. Our first of two planes. We're going to Zagreb first and then from there we're going to Dubrovnik. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the plane right now and uh, say what's up. We just got to Zagreb, Croatia. We're here for three hours, 50 minutes and then off to Dubrovnik from here super chill place i mean it's like there's nothing going on here it's actually really freaking peaceful and really nice on the bus right now taking us to our plane and i just had like a two hour conversation with somebody that i met from new jersey and it was really freaking cool and it's like the smallest world like so many people that are around you so it's really really cool we had an awesome conversation and it was super nice like talk to somebody new from america it is super nice so next time you see me maybe we'll be in dubrovnik maybe yo i'm in dubrovnik right now though and it feels freaking amazing i don't think i'm going the right way yeah, yeah definitely going the right way now is when it gets tricky because um well I don't have a way to get home. So far, it's going good. The only problem is I know where I'm staying, like the address and everything, but the address doesn't come up on Google Maps. So we're just gonna kind of hope that I can find it from here. I did get told to go on this bus though, and that this was a shuttle that I needed to take. So we'll see. Yo, I don't know where I am at right now. Like I literally know where I'm walking to, but this place is insanely awesome. I've never seen anything like this. If you didn't know, like all the Game of Thrones and everything, it's all shot here where like the South was. So it's just like crazy. Like I've never seen architecture like this and I had no idea Dubrovnik was like this. Really, really cool. So we are starting the first day off walking the wall better known to probably most of you as King's Landing and Game of Thrones. And yo, this place, I know I said it earlier, the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Also, I don't know how I didn't mention this, like all of Dubrovnik, it's like surrounded by a huge mountain, like literally it wraps all the way around. So I like, I honestly, I can't think of any place I've ever been to that's actually like this, like that has features like this. Okay, I know exactly what this reminds me of actually. So when I was little, I remember in third grade, we read this book called Pompeii and we read about, you know, the whole volcano and everything, but they showed pictures and all this stuff. And I think it was obviously like fake pictures that, you know, they just say like, created for uh, illustration and everything. But this city is what that reminds me of. Like, just like old, like, like an ancient Roman city is what this reminds me of. So what I was trying to say is on Sunday, it's gonna be 73. It's gonna be sunny. It's supposed to be so nice. So I think we're gonna take an island tour and we're gonna go like island hopping to all these islands and we're gonna go swimming and I'm bringing the Ooh, I almost just gave it away what I brought. I almost just gave it away. You'll see it later, hopefully, today. So with me saying all this, 
once again I'm gonna ask you guys put in the comment section below where like your dream vacation is like what is one place you want to go to before you die on your bucket list let's make this like the most commented video I've ever had let's just blow it up I'm gonna respond to all you guys and just let me know because it's, it's really interesting to hear your favorite places Just finished the wall, got back to the apartment, and yo, I cannot contain this excitement anymore. I freaking brought the drone. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. This is about to be the sickest drone footage I've ever had in my life. say one thing about that Mavic. That thing is so small and it handles itself better than anything I have ever seen. Like the winds, solid 40 miles an hour at least. Like when I was up there, I flew it over where I just walked. And yo, it just handles it with perfection. Now that we finished the wall, got the drone footage, did all this stuff, we're gonna go back into the old town and just check that out. We're gonna go eat some dinner there. Cause that place just is like way, way too awesome not to check out. I'm dead serious when I say this. If there was not rock, like if there was actual beach instead of rocks right here, I would be tempted to go in here. It's like the most clear water. Like as you guys can tell, this is freaking. It's so nice. Also, I see this over here. They have, uh, I think it's called a vehicular. That goes from right there all the way up. Maybe we go snorkeling tomorrow. We'll find something like that maybe, because it's supposed to rain. So if we can get out, you know, if we're gonna get wet anyways, why not? And I can take the GoPro out. Oh, dude, I just got soaked with water. So right over here, if I can get down here. Yes, sweet. Okay, so right over here, and I've always wanted to see one of these, but have you guys seen the videos of just like, um, just water smacking rocks, like flinging up? Like they have that right here, and it is freaking so tall. It's like, dude, this is dope. Obviously these things pop up and this girl just got drenched, like head to toe drenched. It is 100% official because there is scuba diving right there. I'm in the danger zone right now. All water is filled. Okay, now is our opportunity. All right, I got this little corner uh, from the other end and I don't see anybody at it. I don't know if anybody noticed it because nobody was down at the corner where I was at. But, okay, we're making it work. But it looks just like super peaceful and relaxing. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm here by myself, in my own corner. Yo, life literally couldn't be any more perfect. 
I got some food and I am back at the room. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right now, guys. Hopefully you had an amazing day. Let me know what you did in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed today. It was so much fun just exploring this amazing city. Until tomorrow, have a great rest of your day. Always say dope, later.